this. This is the brand new Legends Pinball Machine. This is just released. I'm one of the first people, or I'm one of the first ever to actually own this. This was sent to me today. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights right here so you guys get to see. So right here, check, check it out. Legends Pinball just released. And it comes with 22 pinball tables. These are Gottlieb tables. And it has an LCD screen for the back glass. There's a lit marquee right up here. Hey guys, what's up? I, I'm reading your comments right now. This is my first live stream, by the way. I never live streamed before on my channel. So we'll see how this goes. And I have crazy kids, so they may bust in here yelling and screaming at any time, which I'm nervous about. And one of them curses. <laughs> so anything can happen in this live stream. So this right here is the new Legends Pinball. It goes for around $650. And Gottlieb and Foresight work together with At Games to make this. It has a real plunger. Oh, this is an 8-bit plunger. And here's the start button right here. There's the menu button for the in-game menu button for the settings. There's the uh, forward nudge. Uh, this is the back button right here. <laughs> My kids curse too, like sailors. These are American kids, right? This is the generation. They watch all these YouTube videos and, and you know they're cursing in the YouTube videos, so they pick it up. I try, you know, I teach them not to curse, but they still do, do it anyways. Uh, this is the nudge and the left right flipper, and this is, you know, nudge and um, the left flipper button. And the artwork is really nice. Look at that. In the early '80s, they like. I mean, look at this artwork. It's very sexy, and I guess. Whoever designed this art really likes sexy women or boobs. <laughs> you can tell. Like there's big breasted women all over this thing, which is not a bad thing. I'm not complaining. I just, one of the things I noticed. But that's one of the things back in the 70s and 80s, right? This is haunted house. These are real pinball tables. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and hit the rewind button. I'm going to show you the menu. So here's the tables that are included. This is a 1080p screen, 60 frames per second. Very cool. And these are global leaderboards. So if you get a high score, it goes globally around the world for everyone to see your high score. And there's uh, pinball leagues you could join. You win prizes, I believe. There's a Facebook page you could join. But right here, I'm gonna show you the tables. So these are Gottlieb tables. And once again, Farsight worked together with At Games to make this. And here's more tables. And these are early 80s. So I'm gonna play a game, don't worry about it. I'm just showing you uh, some of the insight on the settings. Now you can also stream pinball tables right here. And these are fan-made pinball tables. These are really high quality too, pinball tables. But these are in beta. So they're not working on 100%. And I, I played it a couple times. They, they stream fairly good, but it's more hit and miss. Uh, they still have to work out the bugs, I believe. So I'm going to hold off on that one for now. And you can add your own pinball table. So you can use a thumb drive and plug it in right here and play add-on games. And you can also connect your laptop right here on the HDMI cable and OTG mode, connect it right there. And you can play um, you know, Steam games, like a pinball, uh, pinball arcade as well, which is really cool. Or you can stream it locally from your PC, um, you know, your Steam game, pinball arcade. And here's all the settings right here. So let's go ahead and uh, try out a game, all right? 
And we're gonna try out, well, what game should I try out, guys? I'm gonna try out, uh, let's try out Cue Ball Wizard. All right, cool. Let's go I'll try that out. Hit start, and let's hit start again. So I'm not sure about Zen games, but I know Pinball Arcade you can play on here, but Zen, I'm not sure if that's compatible with this. All right, hit accept. Oh, it's calibrating right here. So let's go ahead and calibrate that. Hit that button and it says nudge to the right. All right, and then we're gonna hit that. All right, so what, what's cool about this is that, check this out. You can like nudge it. There's a sensor in there. And uh, let's go ahead and hit start. Quit talking and start talking. So I'm gonna show you that there's no lag at all. Watch this. So if I bang it out right here, you can see Check this out. Yeah, right, neat. There's a lot of sensors in here. So this is the flipper. Look at no lag whatsoever. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna try to play this with my knee because uh, I'm recording right now. So. Oh my God Almighty. All right. Let's see if I could do better. Oh my god, right down the middle. I have the worst luck. Maybe I might get my son to play this. He'll do a better job than me. Now there's feedback on the flippers. There's all oh, sensors all oh, right here. I'm gonna have my son play this so I can record and show you guys better. All right, so let's, and then you go, I don't know how I got a high score is beyond me because I did horrible. And let's go ahead and how do I uh, submit my score? Advance, that's how I do it, hit that button. All right, let me go ahead and get someone to play. Huh? Uh, I need someone to come out and play the pinball quickly. All right, so we're going to get someone to play this while I record because, uh, you know, <laughs> how are the speakers? Oh, all right, so the speakers are really loud, actually. The volume, you can just hit right here. You can increase the volume right there. And let's go ahead, and we're going to try out another game. Hit this button, and then we can use this to go down, and we're going to quit game. Hit start. What is this? Uh, was it this one or this one? I believe it's this one. All right, here we go. All right, so my son is going to play. Come on, Devin. Let's see how. Play? All right. <laughs> uh, I'm learning too, son. All right, so my son, Devin, so let's go ahead and you use this to navigate. These are all pinball tables right here. All right, and. You want to go to tables and then pick one of these tables that you think is really good. All right, go ahead and try wipeout actually and hit the start button right here. Hit it again. So yeah, it's this is metal right here. The switch, power switch is right here. Yeah, they have haunted house. We'll play that. Oh yeah. You hit the nudge button by accident. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Oh, you're, you're going to um, tilt the game. It's going to freeze up the game if you do that too, too many times. Uh, go ahead and... Uh... The music's really good. It has, like, you can feel the bass. It has, like, a little bit of bass to it. And you can tell it's running at... 60 frames per second, 1080p. It's really nice. You 
gentlemen up here. You can play Steam Pinball. I think it's Pinball Arcade. I'm not sure about Zen Pinball. Maybe later on you can. But there's two ways to play Steam Pinball. One is uh, you could connect it to the HDMI cable right here. You can connect it using the HDMI cable to your laptop and the OTG mode, the USB cable to your laptop, to the pinball table. And you could do it that way or you could stream it using uh, the arcade net app on your laptop but i highly suggest using that cat 6 cable connected i have my cat 6 cable connected in the back yeah it looks it looks really good Now, my son seen a virtual pinball machine. I actually made one right here. He came up playing Devin. I wanted to show them uh, this one. So this one I made. See, I have pinball buttons right here. He plays this one, and I installed a launch button on here and then here. And this is uh, the Legends Ultimate stand-up arcade, but I actually play pinball. You could play virtual pinball on this one as well with the game pack. It's going to be available soon. But yeah, that's a really good experience too. If you don't have the pinball table or you can't get one until later on. But I highly suggest, you know, just buying the pinball buttons from at games. And so let me go ahead and um, show you that real quick. Because you guys actually might be interested in that because this is available now. And this is at Walmart and Sam's Club. For around five hundred dollars so you go to farsight studios click on that and i got this because i reserved the legends pinball and it gave me a free pinball game pack for my legends ultimate arcade so this game pack is you go right here in settings and then you can go to game pack and click on a and then download the game pack all right so let's go ahead i'm going to show you this real quick because i want to show you the difference in quality so this um, Legends Ultimate, you actually have a pretty good experience. There's no lag or anything. Take a look at that. And it shows you like a 3D, uh, you know, zoom effect. You can check out the table, hit the start button. So I wired the B button to this left flipper button and the C I wired to the right flipper button right here. And then the back, when you hit back, that um, button is the launch button right here. So kind of like that, that's the same as that. And see the quality, this is a 720p, 30 frames per second, but it works really well and it's a lot of fun actually. And it, it does have global leaderboard support. So when you get a high score, it, it submits globally, which is really cool. And see, And then this one. So let's go ahead and check out the other one. So I'm going to show you the difference. Look at the quality difference. It's amazing. Hey, <laughs> okay. He has to use the bathroom apparently. So let's go ahead and I'm going to just start this on my own. Oh, let's do haunted house. I think someone wanted, right? So you hit this button and someone wanted me to play haunted house. And let's go ahead and quit this let's go back now, this is my first live stream by the way uh, he got a high score I don't, I don't know okay he got a high score all right let's go ahead and go to haunted house and hit start and it tells you a little description right here about haunted house how the um, play field is like there's a bottom play field which is the cellar and then the top play field is uh the attic which is kind of cool so let's go ahead and hit start there. And here we go. And so this is the bottom play field. These are real pinball tables from the early 80s. 
And so you have to drop it down. I believe that hole brings it up the top play field, which is the attic. And then uh, this is to the cellar, this hole right here that goes down to the bottom play field. And then that one in the middle, the secret passage. And it has a bunch of flippers. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight flippers. And this actual real pinball machine is thousands of dollars. Now, this one, the Legends pinball is around 650, but the Haunted House pinball machine is, uh, I think, uh, two or three thousand dollars if you're going to buy the real one. So let's go ahead and hit the start button. And let's try to play this. Here, Devin, play. There you go, quick, play. And it's it sits up pretty good. It's like maybe uh it's like five feet tall almost. It's like, I believe it's three quarter size or uh, two thirds of a real pinball machine. Now the one up arcade pinball, that also looks really, really nice, but I don't believe it's, um, it's a smaller screen and a lower resolution. The resolution on, uh, on the one up arcade pinball machine, I believe is a little bit lower resolution. I'm not sure if it's 720. It could be 1080p. I could be wrong, but um, this is definitely a 32-inch screen, 1080p, 60 frames per second. This is the best-looking pinball experience for under a thousand dollars. Oh yeah, you can nudge it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> I'm trying to look at the game. I should be reading your comments too. This is see when I nudge it right here. There's also nudge buttons as well. See, he just nudged it too. But yeah, you can actually. Yeah, see how like we shake, we're shaking it right now. And there's a sensor in there that detects that. So you can um, bump it forward, left and right, and it would actually shake the play field. Are you going to put your name in here? <laughs> you, want to see? Uh, you have to read there. Like I'm still learning how to use this thing too as well, but I'm also going to do some tutorials how to, you know, connect it to Steam and play some Steam pinball. And uh, I'm going to produce that video probably this week, how to stream locally from your PC onto the Legends pinball, if you guys want to check that out. Oh, it runs at 720p on a 1080 screen. Oh, okay. So that's a one up. Or is this, um, I'm reading your comments right now. I'm getting a new phone in January, hopefully the Wi-Fi hotspot. <laughs> so you can uh, connect it via um, Wi-Fi, but it's best to connect it to Cat6 cable. So it gives you the best streaming capability. So that's the bottom play field right now he's playing on. Let's show that nudge. See? Right, go ahead and let's try a different game. What game, um, what pinball table should we try guys? How wide is the table? I don't know, I gotta check. Um, well, you have to hit the start button right here. Oh, you want to quit? You hit the menu button right here. You quit and go down to quit game and then hit, I believe, this one. So let me go ahead and get some measurements for you guys. Hold on one second. So this one's still playing. As you can see the you know, resolution difference, right? So I'm getting my, you get to see my workbench right here. 
So this is my, I'm doing a couple of videos later on about that. And I have a TV repair I'm trying to work on. This has a bad power supply. It turns off after 30 minutes. This is Samsung TV. And here's some handhelds I fixed just to show you my office a little bit. And uh, I don't know if you guys ever seen this, but um, this is my door. And then you, this is my man cave office. See, it's not a secret anymore, I guess. And then I have a lock right there. And Stan Lee's autograph. So I like fun things. And my son's drum set. He plays guitar. He's He's been doing that for five years. Let me get some measurements for you guys. All right. So right here, this is 40, almost 41 inches about 41 inches and how wide it is let's let's measure the wide width and this is about 21 and a half and let's measure the height so the height on it is let's get the height you hold that for a second carefully don't turn it off. <laughs> Hold on it carefully. All right. And record that. Uh, it's exactly five feet right here. Record this. It's exactly five feet. All right. So that's how tall it is. All right. Let's go ahead and play a game, Devin. Hit the start button or right the back. Oh, you just, you're putting your initials in? Mm. All right, just go ahead. Which one is this, going nuts? Yeah. Of course, you picked that one. Oh, wow, I, now I know why it's called going nuts. Oh, this is cool. I like, you know, when you're doing like a, doing a virtual pinball machine or you're building one, you have to do 60 frames per second. It just looks so much better. I'm glad they went with the 32 inch screen, 1080p, 60 frames per second. I have a shoe. Are you sure I'm I don't know. You use this. Oh, it's automatic, yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to um, check out the performance on Steam? I have to actually set that up. That takes, I have to, um, yeah, that's that. And that's all, this is all brand new too. So it may not work as seamless as the Legends Ultimate Arcade because it took them, uh, I think, a couple months or a few months to perfect everything. But... Yeah, I'm going to make a tutorial how to stream on the Legends Pinball. You can, um, you know, there's lots of upgrades you could do on this as well. Like uh, you got install solenoids and, you know, there's hopefully they'll have a Pixelcade. I want to swap this out, this marquee out for DMD, Pixelcade DMD. That'd be really cool. I have one on my Legends Ultimate Arcade, but uh, I don't have one. I mean, hopefully they'll have one available for this. That'd be a cool upgrade. All right, go ahead and start and quit. And then what games, uh, what pinball table should we try next? So just to give you guys a heads up, this is my first live stream ever. So I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> on my channel. I did a live stream with P-dubs and uh, Rostalgia. 
Uh, you could check those channels out. And they also do a lot of pinball, virtual pinball stuff in Legends Ultimate Arcade uh, videos. I want to install some solenoids. And so like when you hit the flipper button, you really feel a kick. That would be like really awesome. Go ahead. Uh, let's pick out another one. All right, let's go ahead and stream. So we're going to stream a game. Let's go ahead. Uh, Junkyard Cats, which one should we stream? This is Cloud Pinball. And so you want to go to Arcade Net right here. And we are connected to the internet using a Cat6 cable. And let's go ahead and I think which one plays the best. Oh, Rescue 911 we'll play next after you know streaming one of these because I want to show you guys. Um, Junkyard Cats, let's go ahead and select that one. Okay, and the server is starting up. Oh, it failed. All right, something's wrong. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's like in beta kind of. It's it's not as it just these games just launched, so you have to give them some time to work out the bugs. Let's try this one. Maybe this one would work. All right, so we'll just hit the start button. And server is starting up. Let's see if this one works. All right, looks like it's loading. And my internet, I think it's like 80 megabytes per second. So it should play it. Hmm. TJ Tampa. Oh, yeah, you must be living in Tampa. I see you uh, comment often. What's up? All right, here we go. So this one is Cloud Pinball. And... Let's go ahead and, what is this, start? All right, there we go. Go ahead and launch. Launch? That is not working. How do I launch the ball? The nudge works. It might be on edge. Is it? Maybe. This brings up the menu up here. Those to start. Alright, so they didn't work out the plunger yet. So the plunger is not working. They're working out the bugs, I guess, for this, so I can't really show you that. Alright, let's quit. Alright, so sorry about that. I mean, that's definitely going to work later on in the future, but as of right now, they're still working out the bugs. So hopefully that you know that's gonna be a really good experience later on. All right, so Rescue Nine One One. I didn't forget you. I remember you like you know you guys wanted me to play that. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is a real. This is actually a really good pinball table. A real pinball table back in the early '90s, I believe. And this actually has a helicopter that picks up the ball using a magnet or a coil that magnetizes, and then you could drop it down into the play field. So if that happens again, Devin, you could like, you know, nudge it and then that should alter the direction of the ball. Go ahead. It looks beautiful. This screen is really a nice looking screen at 60 frames per second. You could tell the difference between 30 frames and 60 frames per second. On my Legends Ultimate Arcade, that's running at 30 frames per second. And you could definitely tell a difference. This is probably one of the best virtual pinball machines that are that's under a thousand dollars. So this is the heli helicopter is gonna you hit the flipper button to drop off the ball. It looks like the real pinball machine. It even had has the little cards right here. Go ahead and pull. 
the plunger? Look at that's a nice looking virtual pinball machine. Now the one up arcade, that one looks good as well, but this one is far nicer looking. Like the screen, the cabinet. I mean, just future. This thing is future proof because you can stream games, you can add games using a USB drive. This thing's going to be future proof. And there's global leaderboards for, uh, you know, so if someone has this in California and they submit their high score, everyone around the world is going to see your high score, which is really cool. And here's the volume control right here. Now there is also volume control through the settings as well. If you hit this button right here and you can go to the settings and let's go ahead and click on the settings. Where is the select button? Oh, it's the select right here. So there is volume control right here. So it does get louder. All right, let's hit okay. So we're gonna raise the volume a little bit. Let's raise it to 90, okay? And then let's go ahead, the uh, home button. Is this the home button? So it's a lot louder now. Oh, you got a high score because you're the only one playing this. We're like one of the first people to get it. On a high score and everything I've played so far. Yeah, because there's no one else playing this right now. Is the DMD the accurate size? No, I believe it's slightly smaller. Yeah, it's definitely smaller. Go ahead and play a different game. Back out. Now, I used to own a real pinball table, pinball machine, high speed, and also uh, Miss Pinbot. I bought it broken for seven hundred dollars or seven around like no two hundred and fifty, and I fixed it up and sold it for fifteen hundred. And I used to actually, I used to actually uh, fix uh, pinball machines and video game arcades like uh, Galaga and Miss Pac-Man and stuff like that in the early two thousands. And I used to fix TVs in the early two thousands, but now I just do it as a hobby and on YouTube. All right, go ahead and quit game. I think it's this one, select. So I just wanted to give you guys a first look at um, you know this pinball machine, a virtual pinball machine made by Legends Pinball. I think Farsight Studios and At Games worked together to make this happen, which is really impressive. And I'm pretty much shocked how well it came out. I'm really impressed. The only thing is, uh, so the pros, it looks fantastic. 1080p screen, big 32 inch 1080p screen where the other guys are using, I believe a 28 or 24 or 26 inch LCD screen. This is a little bit bigger screen, better resolution, faster frames per second. And I mean, it just, this looks amazing, the play field. And what I really think that they improved, they could have improved on is the feedback when they hit the flipper button. I'm just, snobby i guess because i used to own a real pinball machine and when you hit the flipper button you really feel it kick hard the solenoids so i might get that upgrade a solenoid upgrade and I'll install a solenoid in there so when i hit this button right here i could feel it kick hard and but this feels really good the plunger feels fantastic um, it feels like you're really playing a real pinball machine even when you like bump it and nudge it, it that works really well. Uh, just um, the sound, the sound is really loud. 
I'm happy with the sound, the volume. I just had to go into the settings and raise that a little bit. But uh, yeah, I just want to give you guys a really close insight and the first look. This is pretty much the first look on YouTube, uh, as far as I know, of anyone like owning it and playing it and live streaming it, as far as I know. It could be other people who got it today and live streamed it. Who knows? But uh, as of right now, the Arcade Net, the, these cloud pinball tables, um, they work, but uh, for some reason, they don't work 100% with the Legends Pinball. So you probably have to give it a couple weeks before they work out the bugs and the buttons and stuff like that. Uh, the, there's very little lag that I experienced playing cloud pinball. You're going to have, of course, a little bit more lag uh, just because you're streaming it. But if you're going to stream it, always use a Cat6 cable. Don't use Wi-Fi. And let's try... Oh, I never played this one. So I think they have a really good selection of pinball tables. I would like to see like maybe game... Uh, there's going to be game packs that are going to be available. You can download and add more. Zachariah works with that game, so you're going to have up to 100 pinball tables installed on the Legends pinball machine, which is really cool and exciting. So right now, out of the box, it's 22 pinball tables, and then later on, you can get the game packs and install even more game, uh, pinball tables up to like over 100 because Zachariah is also working with uh, uh, at games. So this is a good one also. My son abandoned me. He's playing online with his friends right now. Ah. Check it out. Very cool. Ah, I messed up. So I'm gonna do some um, tutorials, get some videos done, created, and hopefully you guys will get the, uh, you know, use those tutorials to like enjoy your experience with this pinball machine. But if you guys uh, are interested in this, you can check out atgames.net. If you guys want to reserve one or buy one, it's going to be available uh, the first quarter of 2021. But as of right now, I, I reserved mine. I actually paid full price for it. They didn't send it to me. I actually paid full price for this. And uh, I think it's worth it, in my opinion. And I chose this over the one-up arcade pinball machines because I think just this is future proof. This is going to be something I'm going to keep in my house for years to come. And I could add games using a USB drive. I could connect using my laptop and play Steam uh, pinball. It, this, is, this is a really universal virtual pinball machine. And I connect with everyone online with my high scores. I think this is a fantastic um, you know, virtual pinball machine and hopefully you guys appreciate this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, or share that, share this video with anyone that may be interested in pinball machines. Thanks guys for watching.